Hello everyone. So, I've been getting a few requests here and there about, um, <clears throat> excuse me, um, how I play daggers. Um, so, I'm going to give you a few tricks and algorithmic understandings of how, um, I play daggers, okay? So, looking at daggers here, obviously I already started, alright? So, one thing we need to make clear is that the first round is the most important round. Um, I'm going to say that again. The first round is the most important round because it will determine whether you place first in the rankings or not. Unless you just really want to spend something crazy okay um so if you're gonna spend um which i usually do uh i usually shuffle the maximum amount of times until i can't shuffle anymore but um so here we go so in the beginning uh, we start with 250 energy and we get the uh, level one daggers right here uh sliding down okay so, what I pretty much do to start is I will drop down and just keep dropping down with the daggers until my area is pretty much filled up here, okay? Now, one thing to understand, all right, is um, you really have to... Uh, see how daggers works okay it doesn't just you know throw daggers at you uh, just because they're random all right um, so when we're looking at this all right after you burn that first 250 energy okay you only want to use one stamina at a time do not use more than one okay and you really want to keep your stamina below 20. Now, the reason why I say that, okay, is that I have personally found that when you have more than one stamina um, out on the rack, uh, or more than uh, 20 stamina out on the rack here, you know, in the main feed, it's, it, it throws, it will give you that random spin of... Uh, random throwing of daggers at you and it will lock you up immediately or almost immediately so that's why it's important to try and stay on top of it throughout the day and keep that uh, stamina count low all right so you only want to burn one stamina at a time and the reason why it's designed like that from what I can understand is that they want you to keep playing even when you have a little bit of energy left so you'll get more daggers that you need in order to break down you know the puzzle and keep going all right so only burn one stamina at a time after you um, defeated um, or uh, used up all your 200 stamina in the beginning okay obviously when you wake up in the morning you're gonna have you know more stamina than just one all right you're gonna have a lot more and that's where you are gonna really want to be careful um and make sure you place your daggers where they need to be placed okay uh, don't just start randomly matching and mashing stuff up. Um, the next thing that I want to touch base with you on is as we get further down the line here and um, we get uh, the higher daggers in, like the level 1s and 2s here, okay? Now, your board is going to obviously fill up at one point or another all right and when you start let's say you have four 
level nine daggers right there. You see where I'm tapping. All right. And then you got a fifth one up here. Okay. Now, when you have a bunch of daggers, random daggers around, all right, and you've been working on, on let's say, building, um, let me see here. Let's say I'm working on building number two or the level two dagger here so I can match it to get to level four. All right. Now, when you keep focusing on that dagger, okay, and trying to level it, the algorithm is going to keep catch on, okay, and it's going to start throwing random daggers at you to try and throw you off. However, it's not as quite as simple as that because all you have to do, if, if the daggers aren't cooperating to what the, the ones you need, you move over here, work on this level zero dagger, okay, and for about a good maybe two or three turns, and you'll notice that the daggers for this side are starting to show up, and the um, and they're matching properly, and then you go, can go back to matching this one, and this is when you have all the level, a bunch of level nines, and you're pretty far, okay? So you kind of have to, I, I would kind of recommend trying to switch like I do. I switch back and forth uh, when I get further up the up the line with um, with my leveling here okay so when I do go further up the line I'm gonna make another video showing you what I am talking about but that is the basic principle of how I have figured out how to play daggers and that's how I get a high score between uh, using shuffling them all the shuffles you can do on the first round obviously you get some shuffles in the store um, and uh, you can buy a few on the uh, on the event shop as well okay god forbid that uh, you know the doves catch on to it but we'll see um, it's more or less kind of a, an algorithmic strategy anyways, and it's really hard to follow because you can easily, easily get lost in daggers and kind of start moving uh, in like a, in a automatic fashion. All right. So you can kind of see here that, you know, I'm kind of pulling them down. See, now I'm starting to get the level 1 daggers. I'm going to go back to work on the right side. And confuse the algorithm to make it think that I am more focused on the right side than the left side. And you can kind of see how I bring down daggers in order for me to be able to move, um, move uh, that level, those two level threes into level four. All right. Now, another principle is never go up. Okay. The uh, until you are um, out of moves or not really out of moves, but close to having the, the board fill up, okay? Um, the um, only time that I uh, move up, okay, is if, let's say, I have a, a level 4 right here, level four right here all right and all uh, this space and this space 
and this space were filled up with daggers, okay? Um, and so on. Uh, what I would do, okay, is I would, hold on a second, let me see this, level 4, oh, let's say there's level 4, yeah, level 4 right there, level 4 right there, so I would move up, I'd move that level 4 up here, alright, and then pull that level 4 over here, then hopefully, usually that will resolve any other daggers in this area, it'll help me be able to move them, and then I could move the level 5 either down or over to level 5 over here, and then to the 6, the 7, and then obviously so on and so forth, okay? And that's only when you really see that happening. Um, you'll you'll kind of know it when you see it. I, I can't really show it to you right now, but um, because obviously I'm just starting out and I'm just giving you the principles of what I've found in the algorithm, right? So, um, like, right here, okay, you see I have a level 5 right there. If I pull this down, it'll make another level 5, right? Now, if my board is pretty much filled up with daggers, okay, instead of pulling this down, right, I would pull it up to the 5, to the 6, to the 7, okay? That way, I could, um, you know, keep the flow going. But as of right now, since I have empty spaces and I don't want to compromise my line down here, okay, I don't want to do that. That's the only time you really don't want to do that. But if you have a bunch of spaces up here that are filled up and there's, you know, um, maybe um, level zero dagger match or level one dagger match, okay, don't go for that match. Go for that four square, okay, and then just pull it down, and that will bring you all those daggers back to where you can match them and start pulling everything down. That is something you really have to look for, okay, and you have to kind of take notice of it, because if you don't, it's going to lock you up, right? So, uh, and if you're, again, if you are getting uncooperative daggers, okay, and if you can't really, uh, and uh, if you're getting uncooperative daggers, all right, you need to try and focus on another dagger before it's too late, okay. Um, usually, it's it wants to resolve the daggers. The algorithm wants to resolve the lowest dagger that's furthest down on this line, okay. So let's say I have bunch of daggers up here and they just don't want to go together um, more or less the game wants you to focus over here on this lower dagger get that solved and built up and then you can go back to focusing over here okay and uh, that's one of my kind of tricks that I've had to take notice on all right so you kind of see, but in the beginning, okay, the best thing for you to do, okay, is what I do is I just go down, 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 and then right, and then keep going down, 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 right? And I just kind of screwed myself right here. Now I have to go up because I don't have any other room, which I wasn't really paying attention. I was just trying to explain it. Um, so... This is where you really want to hope to God that the dagger, the next dagger, is right here, okay? So let's do this, and it is. Boom. Just like that. See, that was my mistake right there. Now, now that we have this dagger right here, we really need to focus on getting to this one all right because it's the lowest dagger it's on your bottom line 
and instead of trying to build up everything else, we got to try and unlock this dagger before it um, becomes uh, engulfed in these higher daggers over here. Okay, so let's look at this here. I'll go over. I'm going to try and build up. I'm going to try and build up over here. All right, one energy. That's it. And try to make this level three dagger match to this level four dagger. Okay. Boom. There it is. And you see how that kind of resolved itself by doing that. And now we're kind of back on track here. You always want to try and keep the lower daggers open to where you can at least hope that the game gives you uh, the ability to manipulate it. Boom. And it took me, a, honestly, I'll, 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 I'll be honest, it took me a good while to um, figure out what, uh, how daggers worked. Um, with anything, there is al always an algorithm on how, on how to make something work, okay? And it's a matter of manipulation, okay? And if you can grasp that manipulation on how the game thinks and how it functions, then you can pretty much become unbeatable at it. So I'm going to stop the video here. And if you guys have any questions, just post in the comments. And... Um, need anything uh you most of you know my discord already so just shoot me a message all right